Hi, it's another Relax and Paint with Donna Dewberry. And today I am going to keep my voice down because I'm going to wake up everybody in the house. But um, I want to just show you some petals that are fun and they make a rose and unusual colors because I like you to just relax multiple colors on your brush and even three or four colors on your brush at one time. How about that? So thank you so much for supporting. Please make sure you subscribe because subscribe helps me to be on more. So if you subscribe, we'll do wonderful, beautiful things together. And it will alarm you when I'm coming or give you a little alert when I'm coming on. So just hit subscribe. And there is a bell. I know, you know, I can't go subscribe myself, but there's a bell. If you click it, it reminds you um, every time it gives you a little ping and says, oh, she's on. <laughs> All right. So check out also, I put up a little bit of an ad, just mostly tell you about learning with one stroke and don't go to the end because on the end, we do some different leaves with different colors. Okay. So thank you. Good morning. And let's have a great day today. Think about um, all the wonderful things that you can learn and just have some peace and quiet. And you could just kind of get lost in your painting and it helps, I promise you. All right, so here's some of the colors. Look how fun and dreamy those colors are. That is um, a little painting that I just did, but I thought fun, fun, fun. All right, so let's get going. I'm moving everything around a little bit so that you can still hear me. And I'm gonna go to my overhead camera and I appreciate you guys being on. Okay, so I am going to come a little bit closer and I put out some colors. I love Juneberry. This is Blue Peacock, all right? And Teal is um, Lime Green and worker white. I'm gonna put some floating medium here. So when I need it, I'm gonna go get that. And I want you to watch me. I've dampened my brush, laid it on the paper towel, got the excess paint off of it. And let's just start our stroke, all right? So I'm going to go in between and have almost all the brush as Juneberry. And I push hard, look. Push, 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 push. I'm going to grab some peacock on the outside. On the, it's going to end up being on the inside. Okay, it gives you a yummy color. All right, so it's all worked in and it's ready to go. Now, what I want to show you is that we can come here and do the top petal. All right, this is going to be the inside. All right. So I'm going to come here a little bit, all right? And then I can come under here a little bit. I'm going to keep going over there and getting paint, all right? Now, I know this just looks dark, so I'm going to get a little bit more Juneberry and not so much blue. How does that sound? I don't think I need any more of the Peacock Blue right now, just Juneberry, all right? So I'm going to come right in here. And this is going to be your center. So, oh, good. You can see, I just keep coming over here. So there we are. There's the center. And let's do another center. And then I like to come right up in here and come back. All right. Now, what's really fun to do is we're going to come over here. So it's just Juneberry. I'm gonna wipe some of that blue out. Man, it's taken over. And it wouldn't be bad, but it's on black, so it makes it even darker. All right, so what we're gonna do is come right in here and come around. Do you see that? I'm gonna come right in here and come around. See all that? We can just come in there. Isn't that kind of nice? be a little bit closer. There we go. All right, so I'm gonna come right here, the outside here, and then I'm gonna roll the brush. 
and we're going to come right around here lay this out and then roll it back in okay we're going to come right in here and if i mess up right in here and i'm not happy with that we just come right back in okay i'm going to come right out here Yeah, I left that made it really dark in there, didn't it? That almost looks like an orchid petal there. And we're going to come right here. So I need more paint right there. Slide. And come back up. All right. So this rose is kind of tilted and I don't want to see those long petals. So I am going to come right in here and do another layer. And this is going to come right underneath here. So when we did this, remember, it comes into there. All right. So the thing is, you can go fix any of this that you want to. All right. And right in here. Usually, I put all the outside petals first, but I just wanted you to see that we can come in here and get a real fun look. There we go. And I'm going to scoop right in here so that you see the underneath of this petal. Is that fun? All right. And then I'm going to take my 16 and work and work and work that in. All right. And then if I come right in here and then I bring it right back up. All right. So I also might come over here and what's happening here is that you can see that rolls over. So I can do that right in here. Bring that underneath. Let's do that again. Y'all see me do these little different petals. Okay. Okay, we put a little bit of that in there. And so let me show you, that's one way. Now what I'm gonna do, so show you a little bit traditional. And we do this traditionally. All right, so we're going to all the way around. So this is just my cabbage rose, traditional. Sometimes I do choppy ones. Sometimes I do just different looks, okay? And I like this little petal there, so it's fun to add that in there. So I'm going to come right in here and do a back petal. And then I'm going to go right there and do the upper stroke to the rose. All right. And then I'm going to come right in here. Okay. Now look, when I'm right here, let's see how I can get that. So see your blend shading and highlighted in each stroke. Okay, so we're going to come back here. Now, this is what's important is that when we're here, we chisel, we lean, lean. I can come from here 
and lean and make those all look like they're rolling out. Okay. So we're just playing around. All right. But I am going to put some leaves in here, like I told you. There's a little simple rosebud. And as you get here, you lean it out, lean it out, lean it out. There. Okay. And that's with a three quarter. If you get a smaller brush, it's easier too. I think I can fix this flower by adding some more depth in here. Let me show you. This is the beauty of one stroke. I'm going to come around here. Okay, so then we're going to come right here. Get a little bit of that blue at this point. Now, now watch what happens right here in the middle. One, two, three, four. All right, there we go. Now, what I want to do is I'm going to take a smaller brush and I'm going to put a little bit of lime and aqua in the middle of these. Okay, so let me show you what happens. I'm gonna take my 12 and I'm gonna use that aqua, but let's put a little bit of that peacock Right, and it looks really good on this black paper. So look, I'm gonna put some strokes in here. I just wanted to demonstrate today and just do some fun strokes with you. All right. Okay, so look what happens. I keep getting this dragging, so I turned it around and I'm going to the tip. Well, this would be pretty with, uh, with uh, metallic too, just think about that. All right, so now look what happens here. Okay, I'm gonna put a little bit of white in the citrus. Okay, so I can roll. Got to get that nice tip and add the center right in there. Okay. So look what happens when I put all those colors. That's even got Juneberry in it. All right. So Juneberry, a little citrus. Okay, so let's put a, a little fern. See all the pretty colors in there? Pull a stem. So Juneberry and Lime Green. Okay. Now, another little leafy thing you can put in here is you push and pull back like we're doing a daisy, but we're doing a full petal. All right, so it's a little bit, a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more. Okay, now I did just recently switch petals where this black background is going to be there. And let's see what that looks like. So it's medium on the brush, and let's do aqua. And so it's only halfway. All right, so look at this. All 
Oh, we come right in there and put this really nice look. Here's a little bit more. All right, so we have to put some down here. I break this up, I can go up and come right back down. But with many of you, I don't want you confused. So I'm just going to make it sure. I like how pretty those colors are becoming. All right. So now I'm going to take this clear medium and let's add this lime green to that also. So let's see. See, so I wiggle up and I slide back down. All right, so it looks like they're in the shadow coming out. All right, so I put lime and aqua on here. So I'm going to put a little bit more aqua because it's next to this aqua one. Up to a point, put it out, pull a stem. Okay, this this didn't do what I wanted it to do. There we go. And then I said you can just restroke right over it. All right. So what I'm going to do is I've still got to fix that up there. So I'm just going to get a smaller brush and let's just do a couple of Juneberry leaves right on here. A little bit. I don't know if you can see that, but it's Juneberry. I'm going to put a little bit of aqua in there to help that look. A little bit there. So Juneberry and line. Okay, there we go. And just remember, you can touch, pull, touch, pull, touch, pull, and make these little sprigs. So that's just on the corner. See, I just dip the line. Okay, and that will just give you a, cute, a few little sprigs. Now this was dark and I just put lime, but I ran out of some of the dark, so it, it stopped giving me that look I wanted. Okay. So we're gonna do a couple here. I'm just getting carried away. I should quit, right? <laughs> I just felt like doing painting this morning and painting with you is more fun than just sitting here painting by myself. So push, lift, push, lift, push down on the line and lift, push, push, and you lift right away. So I hope you have a wonderful day that I've inspired you to get a paintbrush and do something with me today. Even if you have to go to work and you come back or you run the kids and you come back, come back and sit down and just start painting a little bit with me. You could freeze me and start it over too, remember? And watch it numerous times, step by step. Okay, so it's all about brush control. So practice strokes on Fridays helps you with those brush control. All right, so just please subscribe. Make sure that you know when I'm coming on. When you subscribe, you can click a bell and it will take you, I mean, let you know whenever I'm gonna be on, okay? And be checking out what we're doing on those membership 
um, what we're paying on the membership and think about joining us. It's only $9.95 a month. So we learn a lot, have fun. And I will see you on Friday. Thank you guys. Bye-bye. Thank you.